Oh my god. Okay, so hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute, but I'm back now. And if you already read that title below, then you should know what we're finna get into today. So, today's video is another hair review. And y'all know me, before I give y'all a review for any hair, any wig, any anything like that, I make sure I get a good wear and tear out of it so that I can give y'all my honest opinion. Now, before I get into the review, I just wanna make a disclaimer. If I sound nasally, if I sound weird or different, it's because I am under the weather. I've been under the weather for a couple of days now. And um, I was trying to wait it out before I could do this video, but it's honestly been over two weeks since I have gotten a video out and I just can't wait no longer. So I'm pushing through for you guys today. So um, I don't want to make y'all wait. I'm going to say the rest of the church announcements to the end of the video. So without further ado, let's get into it. This hair that we are reviewing today is the Janet um, Melt HD Melt One Pack Solution. It came with it came with three bundles and a lace closure. So my lace closure, I don't, I actually don't know what length my closure is because they did not put it in, on the packaging. So my closure, I don't know the length because they did not put that on the packaging, but it is a four by five lace closure. And then my bundles are 18, 20, and 22, and is it was in the color natural black. So um, upon opening, unraveling the bundles from out the pack, the first thing that I noticed was that the wefts were a decent size. And what I mean by that is, if you guys have noticed that when you unravel your bundles and you get ready to construct a wig, like I did because this is a wig, the wefts um, on some um, affordable, I'm not going to say cheap because I don't want to disrespect, you know, but the wefts on affordable hair sometimes is very, very thin. It's thin. But these bundles, the webs were very thick. Like they wasn't extremely thick, but it was a decent size. It was a good quantity size so that you can be able to maneuver and work with it. And it's not too thin to where it's making the tracks look thin, making the wig look thin. And you also are able to, because of the webs are so thick, the hair is thick also. You really don't have to use the whole three bundles, but I did anyway, just because I like my wigs fairly on the thicker side and not the thinner side. So yeah, that was the first thing I noticed upon taking the hair out the packaging was the webs. And then the next thing I noticed was that it did not have that fishy hair smell. Now, if you um if y'all wear weave on a regular or if you are used to purchasing bundles, then you know that sometimes when you take your hair out of the packaging before you wash it, of course, co-wash it, it does have a fishy odor. This hair did not have that. It did not have, from what I can remember, it did not have an odor at all, which is perfect because nobody likes fishy hair. And then sometimes, even if you co-wash your hair, the hair still carries that same scent. Like, you can smell your conditioner and shampoo where for at least, at, at least for me, what I've noticed that sometimes, even after I co-wash my hair, the odor is still present. It's just very, very slight. I can smell my shampoo and conditioner over the odor. And with this hair, I didn't have to worry about that because it was not, you know, an odor. So all I had to do was just co-wash it. Now, my next point I'm about to make is before I co-wash this hair and did all of this, I did process this hair. So the hair is bleached. Um, now, the thing that I will say about this hair upon bleaching it was it took bleach very very well i used 30 and yeah i used 30 volume developer and then i ended up running ended up running out of the 30 volume developer and only thing i had on hand left was the 50. so um i just i mixed it so i used a combination of 30 and 50 and the hair did not burn it was not hot overheated y'all know sometimes when you get cheap affordable hair and you use high volume developers, it can tend to burn or smoke 
when you are processing the hair and this hair did not do that although on the packaging it does recommend that you use anywhere between 30 and 40 volume developer it does take well with 50 i just suggest that you watch the hair very very closely now i bleached the hair it is a little bit brown um now my next point that i'm gonna make is these little waves that you see in the hair the hair is body wave texture the the body wave texture um upon taking it out the packaging was very very pretty it was an actual body wave you can see the waves it was present um but the reason why i don't have the same waves obviously is because i washed and processed the hair and the waves were still there after washing and processing it i must say that i just wanted my hair to have a deeper wave so i'm going to try to post some pictures of the day that i actually applied the wig with the waves that i was talking about somewhere on the stream right here so y'all can see it um and this is actually the waves um the wand curls that's what i used probably this probably been about two or three weeks now and it still has a little wave to it a little bend to it um so it does take um heat and curls very, very well i did use some got to be free spray also after i did curl the hair so you might want to keep that in mind if you want your waves to last a little bit longer because me personally once i make my wig put my wig on i don't like applying too much heat on it because the purpose of the wig is for it to stretch and last longer than a sew-in you don't want to keep applying heat 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 every day like you're wearing a sew-in or your natural hair because this hair is affordable like i said it might not be the best of the best but it's something that you can get away with for a good period of time you don't want to ruin this hair using obsessive amounts of heat so upon using the heat and the bleach and wearing this hair um, off and off for a good three weeks, what I will say is that it is just now starting to tangle. And it's probably tangling because I have not brushed it. I have not combed it out. I have not did any of that since I curled this hair and I went to the club. Literally, I have not combed it, brushed it, anything. And it's just now starting to tangle. So this is some good hair, y'all, I think, because like I said, it's going on three or four weeks and I have not brushed or combed this hair and it's just now starting to tangle. And it's probably tangling, like I said, because of my own mistakes of not brushing it and stuff like that. But like I said, we want to get the maximum wear and tear so that I can give y'all my honest opinion. So yeah, the hair is just now starting to tangle. Um, I did notice that prior to me getting ready to record this video that when I was rubbing my fingers through the hair, it was shedding just a tad bit. But like I said, I don't know if y'all can see the hair, just a tad bit. But like I said, it's probably shedding now while I'm run, running my hands through it because I have not combed it. So once I comb it and all that, it should be okay. Um anything else about this hair y'all know i like to give y'all my honest and true opinion about the lace closure now this lace closure is hd um it's supposed to be like a good transparent well not transparent because transparent lace is transparent lace hd lace is hd lace and if you guys are not aware of that i suggest you go and research your differences in laces before you purchase this wig just so you're well purchase the bundles um just so you're aware of how to um customize the front the closure or frontal and also how to upkeep it because every lace the lace that you use is different which means the maintenance might be a little bit different from my understanding so yeah um the first thing i noticed about this lace closure upon taking it out the pack was that the rim was very very thin now what i mean the rim if you are familiar with wearing lace closures lace frontals any of that sometimes on the swiss lace that you get from out the beauty supply store it has a thick brown band going around the perimeter where you would sew it down to the cap or to your head and it's thick normally thick this hd lace it was fairly fairly thin like paper now that can be a pro and it can be a con it's a pro because it helps your wig lay flat as possible but it can also be a con because that means that the lace can be ripped torn or damaged very very easily so like i said you want to do your research before you start using these type of laces just so you know how to manage manage and upkeep it y'all 
my brain is just all over the place because I'm sick. So my words might seem jumbled. My apologies. So yes, you might want to do your research because the lace is very, very thin, which means that it can be damaged very, very easily. So you want to be careful when you are applying this closure down. You want to be very, very careful because when I tell you that the lace is very thin, it's damn near non-existent. <clears throat> yeah. So um, just be mindful of that. Um, and also it was pre-plucked, but I did go in around my hairline area and just pluck a little bit more just because I wanted to look as natural as possible. So I did go back in and pluck just a tad bit because when I tell you this lace was pre-plucked, it was pre-plucked. I literally just went in and just took a couple extra hairs from out of different places just so it can match up with my hairline a little bit and blend in. I also went underneath because it's HD. It's not brown lace it's not that swiss brown lace that you guys might be used to so that means you it is recommended that you take like a powder foundation or anything put it on a little blender and um run it on the lace before you apply it just so it can match up with your skin tone and you can also put it on the stocking cap now i don't wear stocking caps under my wigs because it gives me a headache it's too tight it just that's just too much bondage on my brain i need to be able to think so i don't wear any um stocking caps but this wig still was unclockable um yeah so i and i did go up underneath with some makeup so what i did was i sprayed the lace with some got to be glue ran the blow dryer over it just to get it a little tacky went over it with my makeup I went over with my foundation and then I sprayed more got to be glued on it just to make sure that that foundation does not fade or get onto my natural hair, which it did not upon taking the wig off. And I had the wig on for a long time, y'all. And I was in a hot, sweaty, packed club. People was on me and I was sweating and my wig was still unclockable. So I definitely recommend it. Even if you don't get the bundles, please get the closure because for, and I think, they do sell the closures individually in the beauty supply store it just depends on which one you go to if they carry it but from my understanding most people were saying that these these closures the by itself was like 24 30 dollars so you can't go bad with a, a great hd closure from the beauty supply store that's affordable that's unclockable really yeah so um yeah the lace is very, very good i'm gonna give y'all a close-up like i normally do just so y'all can get the true effect of this thing so give me one second and i'm gonna give y'all a close-up okay you guys so this is the closure i don't have it glued down or anything that's why it looks weird that's my hair and then this is the closure so i'm gonna pull it down just a tad bit and see how show y'all how close it matches to my skin y'all see that it I probably should have glued it down so y'all can actually see it, but y'all see it. Y'all see it. Yeah. So, yeah, like I said, this is some good hair, y'all, and it is the Janet One Pack Solution. You only need one pack because it comes with the three bundles and the closure for y'all. So, I highly suggest that y'all go out to y'all beauty supply store, find this hair, use this hair, purchase this hair. Do not use um, too much heat on this hair. Do not go past 40 volume development. Oh my God, excuse me. Do not go past 40 volume developer with this hair um, because you want it to last and it's some good hair. So um, yeah, and I paid in total for the one pack solution at my beauty supply store. It was $179 um, for the one pack solution. It was $179. Um, so in total, I think I probably paid two hundred dollars. That's with the hair being one hundred and seventy nine. I bought me um, my dome cap, of course, to be able to construct the wig. I bought glue because I did use glue in this process. Normally, when it's hair that I am reviewing, I use the glue method when making my wigs, just because it's quicker and easier, and it still lasts, you know, long. I use my glue wigs normally last a little bit longer than my sewed wigs, to be honest. So. Yeah, so in total, I probably spent about $200, if $200. Um, and you don't have to spend $200 because, like I said, the hair, again, by itself was $179. So, and that was without taxes. So, 
yeah, very, very affordable for one pack. You go in, get out, go get your hair done, get slayed, get laid with your nice closure, go to the club, dance, pop it, twerk it, shake it, and your closure and your bundles are still going to be intact the next morning. So, you guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, like I said, I'm probably not going to be away two weeks again. I was just having back-to-back -back issues with technical difficulties and then ended up getting sick. That's why I was away so long. But I promise you, I'm trying to push through it so I can get my content content back up for you guys um i know y'all missing the love and hip-hop episode from last week but honestly i don't know if i'm gonna continue doing love and hip-hop for one because my storage um i'm using my phone because i'm a small youtuber i use my phone and sometimes the extensive amount of content can kind of overdo it so and then plus love and hip-hop this week even though i have not been reviewing it for youtube i have still been watching it and keeping a close eye on it and it's just not popping the way that i would have expected it to be popping and in order for me to give you guys a good you know good content good juicy content good natural content authentic content i need for it to be giving me what it's supposed to be giving and it's not giving what's supposed to be giving it's giving snooze fest and so i'm just probably just gonna shy away from it if it's something that come up that catches my eye i will jump on youtube and talk about it with you guys just because i am watching it just because i'm not reviewing it so if it's anything that catches my eye i will talk about it um, in its own little separate episode. If it's something that y'all might want to talk about, you can leave it in the comment section and we can discuss that on one of the next videos. Um, also, if you guys are interested in getting a wig made, I will be offering those services now. So if you get bundles, if y'all go get these bundles that I'm telling y'all about, like the Ibiza hair or the Janet hair, um, and y'all want a wig and y'all not able to make it yourself, I do, um, make wigs so y'all can contact me and we can get a price going i do have two separate ones like i said i can do the glue method for you guys or i can do the song method for you guys but they're going to be different prices because one method is very very intricate and it's harder than the other method so just keep that in mind um and also you will have to provide your own bundles in order for me to make the wig but everything else as far as like shipping the hair to me and all that stuff um we could come up with some type of plan in order to get that done so all you have to do is just comment in the comment section below or you guys can dm me on instagram y'all know my instagram is at forever.jazz underscore on instagram or you can hop in my inbox or dm on my business page at urban luxury ofb and i will get back to you guys within 24 to 48 hours please only send one dm do not overload me with dms you guys or i promise you i will skip over you and my baby is crying she is so rude give me one second yeah so don't overload me with dms y'all but i'm gonna see it i promise you i have my notifications on for both pages so if you dm me i'm gonna see it and trust me if you guys have ever commented on my video dm me about anything nine times out of ten i get back to you within five minutes because <laughs> my phone is always in my hand and i do have my notifications on so i'm out of breath it's in this video i got a headache because these lights is blinding me and my eyes are very very sore from this sinus infection so i'm gonna get on up out of here y'all make sure y'all go buy this hair i love each and every one of y'all continue to be bold brave and beautiful now i'm gonna see y'all in my next one peace out